Okay, in this video, I'm going to tear down a Tesla Model S key fob. This one had the misfortune of going through the washing machine last night, and I decided as a precautionary measure, I'd take it apart and um, check it out and maybe do the rice trick. I'm going to do the rice trick because water gets trapped underneath the circuit legs, and I'll show that in a bit. But rather than let it corrode and dry out, I figured I would dry it out with uh, some sort of desiccant like rice. So I've already taken out the battery. You can tell the battery's got a bit of rust on it. I wiped some of it off with my fingers. I don't know if this will show, but it had some rust. And the uh, key fob contact right here also has some rust. Focus, come on, camera. Maybe that'll do it. Yep, there we go. So you can see some rust right there. And there's also some corrosion right there on that contact. So I looked up on the awesome forums and they said the first thing you do after you take the bottom off is take the sides off. Uh, you can see I started taking the sides off. I thought this was really cool and thought it'd be worth taking a video. So here's how I did it. Um, I have this screwdriver, which uh, after you take the bottom off, you have to pop these side pieces off where the white door is. So this one I've already done, I'm gonna finish it. Um, I can pull on this, but it doesn't seem like the best idea. So I'm going to go in here with my screwdriver and ever so gently, while I'm pushing out with my thumb here, I'm going to twist the screwdriver to help it along. Feels like you're absolutely going to break it, I have to tell you. So here I go, and then it pops off. So there's the little side molded piece. And you can see the snap grooves here, here, and here. Those are the th things you have to get over these uh, grooves here. That'll, you see the, the latch tabs right there? That'll be the next thing I have to do when I take the other side cover off. So to get the side cover started, which I already done on the other side, I put my screwdriver flat in here and I pried this way against this little nub. So I put the screwdriver in the nub see if we can get some contrast in there. There's a little nub, and this side piece is here. Sorry. So now I put my thumb on top, and I'm gonna pull downward on the screwdriver. As I do that, the front, um, the nose part of the car door comes off like that. So now you can see that coming out. So I got that first groove popped out. It's still being held on by these two. So now I'm going to go in there in a less cosmetic place and pop that open. So now I'm just like I was with the other one. Again, I went inside of here because that's not cosmetic. I could pry that open. So now I'll do the same thing I did before. Come in here and twist this open. There popped off the other side. So now we should be home free. See some water in there? <laughs> from the washing machine. All right, so off comes the top. One, two, a little twist. Come around the other side. Oop, don't even have to do that. So there's the board. <laughs> All right, so here's the, here's the key fob with its three buttons underneath. So that'll dry out. Here's the board with its water on it still buttons. What I was saying earlier is that the uh, water in here can get underneath these circuit legs and uh, underneath here this will get all wet and it'll corrode these circuit legs especially if you put a battery back on it so we're not going to do that we're gonna dry this out and just drying out the top of it isn't the same as drying it out completely this is usually a shielded box uh, it looks like it might be an antenna though yeah this is just an antenna Sometimes it's a shielded box with some electronics underneath it. You'd absolutely want that clear too. There is corrosion right here. This is probably the power section. And there is some corrosion right here. So um, sometimes I take a toothbrush and a little bit of vinegar and rub that on there just to get the... The um, corrosion is conductive. So if I get that corrosion off there before I repower it, it has a better chance of working. Uh, furthermore, if you read the forums, which I'm sure you do, a lot of people say that it already works. You don't have to do any of this. Just not a big fan of that. There's the bottom of the thing. Um, this is that contact that I said is 
corroded in here, so I'll take a toothbrush and a little vinegar and rub that and maybe soak it for a little bit too. Um, furthermore, uh, I know you're a forum reader, so I don't have to tell you this, but apparently this whole kit of plastic is available from your Tesla service center.